Did you see my new bear? My boyfriend won it for me at the carnival and I love it because it looks like the little teddy bears from the Lorax. Isn't he cute? Hey there guys, this is Samantha and today I have my, what month is it? June, June wrap up and July TVR. So let's just dive right in to my wrap up. That was the word I was looking for, not TBR. Okay, so let us go. So the first book that I finished this month was I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. And this was definitely my favorite book that I read this month. And I gave it a 5 out of 5. I love this book, but it is not for everyone. Let me, let me say that again. It is not for everybody. If you do not enjoy Shane Dawson's videos, his YouTube channel, you are not going to enjoy this book. He has a very, he, he has a sense of humor that is, is basically directed for a certain crowd, a certain type of person, and if you don't like his videos, you are going to hate this book, but I absolutely loved it. The next books that I finished were the Enclave series by Anne Aguirre, and I enjoyed these books. They were a pretty good series, they weren't like spectacular, but they were pretty good. I gave them all a 4 out of 5 stars, so they were enjoyable, but they were not mind-blowing. The next book that I finished this month is The Spectacular Now by Tim Tharp, and I have to say this was my least favorite book of the month. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars, and the reason why I disliked this so much is because I thoroughly disliked, what's his name? Sutter, the main character. I thoroughly hated this guy. I did not like his character. He just made me so sad inside. I just did not like him. But there was one quote that I liked from this book and it is um, when they are crowning a king and queen for the homecoming. We're all kings and queens in my way of thinking. Why would you want to wreck the togetherness of the situation by holding two people above the rest? Although I did not like the book, I absolutely loved that section of the book. And I Mm, don't think I'll ever reread this book. I was not impressed with it. I had high hopes because it was so raved to me by my friend, but it was not my book. The next two books that I finished this month were books that I borrowed from my friend, and the first one is Bloodletting, a memoir of secret self-harm and survival by Victoria Lethem, and this book is about, as the title suggests, it's a memoir about a woman who goes through a very, very, very tough time in life. She's very depressed. She just had a terrible, terrible t time figuring out her life and everything like that. It was a pretty good book. I believe I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, and I'm really glad that I read this. And the last book that I finished this month is It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini, and this is another book about a depressed boy. He's 15, and he wants to kill himself so he checks himself into a hospital and it is basically all about his stay in the hospital. And I, again, I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It took me a minute to get into the book itself, but after I got into it a couple of pages, I really enjoyed it and I haven't rated it yet on Goodreads, but I'm probably going to give it a 4 out of 5 stars. There was one book that I really wanted to read this month, but I did not get to it. It is Soulless by Gail Carringer, and that was because I wanted to do a buddy read with somebody, and I was waiting for them to get a copy of it, and so I never read it, waiting for them to get it. But hopefully they'll get a copy, and I'll be able to read it next month, so yes. And that is all of the books that I read slash didn't read this month. Let us go on to our TBR. R. It's my TBR. Okay. But... I did something a little bit different with my TBR. Usually I pick which books I want to read this month and then usually one book that I'm kind of just iffy about. But I took a page from Sylvia's from, mm, I don't remember your channel's name, but I remember your Twitter name, but I'll link her channel down below. She actually wrapped all of her TBR books and then she has people pick numbers and all of that good stuff, and then they choose her TBR for her. I was going to do that, but then how many books I had on my TBR kind of hit me, and then I was like, I'm too lazy for that crap. So instead I just kind of turned them around, so the spines are facing the inside, and then I still have people, other people pick my 
um, what shelf and then what book they want me to read and then that is how I choose what books I'm going to read every month. But this month I just had my boyfriend choose all of, sorry I keep, there's some hair on my face and it's really irritating me, but I just had my boyfriend pick out the books I'm going to be reading this month and he has a very diverse set of books so this shall be interesting. But if you guys would like to suggest a book thing for me to read, I have seven bookshelves and then a stack of books just sitting there to, waiting to be put away so I'm probably going to have about eight shelves for you guys to pick from so you would pick a shelf number so one through eight and then just a guesstimate of how many books are on the shelf so probably anywhere from like one to 25 ish so if you guys would like to help me pick out my tbr for next month then go ahead and leave some numbers down below or on my twitter or something like that if you guys are interested so yeah but yes this month all of my books were picked out by my boyfriend so let me show you what books he picked out for me. First, my TBR is going to be Solas by Gail Carringer. Whether or not they can do a buddy, the, this said person, Whitney from Accio Books, if she can buddy read this with me or not. If she can't, I'm still going to read it this month. If she can but can't do it this month, then I might just put it on to a different month. But I really want to read this really, really bad. Just so you know, I really want to read it so the sooner the better. Okay, so on to the books that he has picked out for me. The first one is The Long Walk by Stephen King. I probably would never have picked this up if he wouldn't have picked this out for me, so... This book, I'm excited. I, I'm excited to read it, but I didn't have a very good time with the last Stephen King book that I picked up, The Gunslinger, so I'm kind of iffy about picking up another Stephen King book, but I'm gonna give it a try. Yes, I am. The next book that I'm that I'm going to be reading this month is Wicked Appetite by Jean Jeanette Janet Jeanette Janet Ivanovich, and same thing with Stephen King book. I probably would never have picked this up if he did not pick this out for me. If you guys haven't noticed, he picked out a lot of books from my hard to read section of my bookshelf. They're all on the same bookshelf, so he kept picking that number. So yeah, that is the next book I'm going to be trying to read. And another book from my hard to read section that Kurt picked out for me is P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. And same thing with the first two books. I probably would have never picked this up if it wasn't for Kurt picking it, so I'm going to be reading this. Yes. The next book that I'm going to be reading I am super excited about because I've been wanting to pick this up for a while and everyone has already read this, but I have not. So, the next book I'm going to be reading this month is Legend by Marie Lu. I've never read it before, but I'm super excited to. And then the last book I'm going to be reading this month is I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. And this is actually I Am Legend plus a few other short stories. So, I'm going to be reading this. I've actually read this book already, but it was so long ago. This is actually part of my reread section of my bookshelf. So I am super excited to read this because I don't remember anything about it. I remember one of the short stories, but that's about it. So excitement is involved with this book. I have a very ambitious TBR, specifically because of that P.S. I Love You. It is such a big book, but I am dedicated. I'm going to read these books, well, as many as, as I can. And if not, they are going to roll over into the next month. But yes. That is all of the books I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed watching because I sure as hell love talking. I will see you guys next time.